Hello everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. This is Shanita and it is wash day. And so I am going to be using a brand new company today, a brand new company, a brand new hairline that I have never used before. I introduced it early about mid 2020 and showed you guys that I'll put the uh, haul video down in the description box if anyone is interested in seeing it. But today I thought I would try it out. Deciding what I'm going to use on wash days has become such a chore. I'll choose something and then I'll put it back and say, no, I'm going to use this. Uh, no, I haven't used this in a while. Oh, this is one of my favorite brands. This is a new product. I need to use this. It is just madness. So I have decided that I'm going to go with this Amali Organics products today. I have had them long enough that at least I need to give them a try because I've got full size products. Um, if you've never heard of them, I can tell you it is a uh, small brand that is black woman owned. Honestly, that's all I know about it. At the time, someone introduced me to it, one of your subscribers, and they had a sale and you know, it just, happened and so I decided to uh, order several of their items and again you can see all of those in the um, video below or in the description box I will probably end up using all of those today so you'll see them here too but I've already shampooed and conditioned my hair with their shampoo and conditioner I, I will just save all of the um, my thoughts and reviews to the end you guys to try to again shorten these videos because I get so excited I can be a little lengthy. So I am at the point where it is time for me to use their deep conditioner. It is actually a clay mask and I've been trying to decide if I'm going to use this one or if I'm going to go with another one because this one is very interesting. I don't know if they still carry this or not. It is called Detoxify Me. It is a charcoal clay mask and originally I thought it was a um, like a cleansing product and then I realized no this is you know it says to use it on wet clean hair so this is supposed to be used as a deep conditioner it is aloe juice wheat germ oil rosemary extract behendromonium methyl sulfate satiro alcohol emulsifying wax charcoal bentonite clay glycerin DL panthenol slippery elm extract phenoxyl ethanol peppermint essential oil and vitamin E so sounds very deep condition-ish, except I've never seen, I've seen bentonite clay in a um, mask before, but never charcoal. So this is going to be very interesting. It says it is a non-sulfate hair mask loaded with bentonite clay and charcoal to detoxify the scalp, restore damaged hair, and deeply condition with wheat germ oil. Our hair mask also draws out any impurities and toxins in the hair. Infused with peppermint oil, it opens pores and stimulates the scalp for growth while keeping the hair healthy. So, interesting. Let's open it and see. I It sounds so much like, you know, whenever we hear detoxifying, it is usually a um, ingredient that is supposed to clean the scalp from the beginning. And so this one is talking about drawing out impurities and um, and it sounds very much like a cleanser but i'm going to use it as a deep conditioner and see if um, my hair ends up feeling weird afterwards then i can always just do another deep conditioner so what i am doing right now actually you guys is stirring it up because like i said i've had it a while and it has started to settle the um some of the what well, was not water aloe vera juice is separated from the mud because that's actually what it looks like i can't really tilt it but it is uh, dark gray because of course the activated charcoal is black. And so once you mix that with these white colored ingredients, then you're gonna get gray. So I am gonna use this. Um, I'm not fearful of using it, though it has separated. I've not opened it. All of my stuff stays in a nice cool room. So I am going to just get it in a place where it is pliable and able to spread and I'm gonna put it on here what I will do probably is use it all because um, I probably waited too late to use it which reminds me I do need to do another sale on some other products because I have other products that I am now feeling like might be getting old and I need to either use or 
get rid of. So be on the lookout for that on the Mercury site. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, in the description box there is a link to a um, app called Mercury where I sell some of my uh, products that have just either I'm not going to use or I've just Sometimes it just gets to be too much. I have everything that I still have at this point are products that I have and love, but to keep them from going bad, sometimes I will get rid of them just so that it gives somebody else a chance to try and I don't have to end up throwing it away because I end up collecting so much stuff. So you can click on that link, sign up for McCurry and then um, search Essence of Coils and see any products that are on there. They're not there right now, I can tell you that. And what I will do is come back and do a post in on the community tab to let you know when I have put items on there. Okay, so my first reaction to this is I'm not really liking the way it feels. Um, I don't, it, it's not soft. <laughs> it's not soft going on. The clay mask that I use and love going uh, in the shower as a cleanser, they go on smooth and this is almost, I'm trying to see what it feels like. It almost feels, it's just not smoothing in very well. So I don't know if it is supposed to do that. There's a lot of moisturizing ingredients in it. But it could be that this is just supposed to be more of a product to use when you really are trying to clarify your hair like a clay mask is supposed to be used. Because using it in this way as a deep conditioner, I'm not getting the warm and fuzzy about leaving this in as a deep conditioner. Now, it may be that it's gonna strengthen it after letting it sit for a bit. But more than anything else, I think this was meant to be as like a clarifier. And it will probably end up making my hair feel nice and smooth after rinsing it out. But because right now I really need to use a deep conditioner, I don't know if this is gonna, I tell you what, I will put it on, I will use it, because number one, like I said, it's getting old now, and it says to leave it on 10, 15 minutes. So I will put it in, and I will, just as a learning tool, go ahead with the directions, and put it on, let it sit for 10, 15 minutes, and then rinse it back out. Who knows, it could change. I could totally change my mind, and I've not seen anyone use this, and I'm not sure if this is what it is supposed to do. It is messy like clay. See, I've got hairs everywhere. I won't sit under any heat. The more I use this, the more I'm thinking I probably could have used it initially, initially like a clay mask. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this up and I don't want my hair to get dry, so I'm keeping my little plastic bag on the sections that are already wet. I will come back and let you guys know how this goes. I know that they revamped some of their, I don't know about products, but I know the labeling is different and they may have added some products or replaced some products. That's how long it's been since I have bought these. And so you may not even be able to find this on the website at this point. They may not even carry it anymore. By the time I edit this, I'll have more information to be able to share. Oddly enough, this side actually is going on better. Okay, this is a mystery product, so we're gonna see how this ends up working. I'll go ahead and put it on, let it sit 10 minutes, and then come back and let you guys see it and let you know what I think, okay? So I am back, you guys, and I just finished rinsing out that clay mask. I am so confused. Like, I am trying to decide if I should deep condition or not. My hair felt so so conditioned and so clean after doing that mask. I don't, like and with every section I thought, okay, I'm not gonna deep condition. Okay, but maybe I will. 
It's really, really clean, but it's not quite as soft and silky like a deep conditioner would do. So I think I am going to go ahead and deep condition. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I wanna show you my hair. I actually love how it feels. Let that be a lesson. Sometimes you just can't judge products by the initial impression. I have to put this on, let it sit, and then take it out. It is so super soft. I could feel, of course, my hair in the back is a little bit more curly and is not as textured, and I could just like feel the ringlets back there forming. This is, you see, like isn't it clean? All this water sitting on top, you guys, it is so, so hard to absorb water and low porosity hair like that. But, I, I'm so confused. I feel like if I had used that as the cleanser, um, if I had just wet my hair and put that in and rinsed it out, it would have made an excellent conditioning cleanser. But I do think that I am going to go ahead and deep condition my hair. What a, it's interesting. Like, I'm not upset. I just think it is completely, completely interesting. It's like a conditioning clarifier. That is kind of what I'd call this. But in hindsight, knowing now what I know, I would use it beforehand as the cleanser because my hair is so, so clean. Not squeaky, not clarifying kind of clean, just soft clean, but it does not feel quite like a deep conditioner. So I, I am going to go ahead and use a deep conditioner. That is all that I have from them. So I'll have to pull one from a, another brand to use. And I will actually, because it's not going to be part of this line, I'll do it in a separate video. I don't know, but it will be posted probably a day or so before or right after this one. And you'll know which one it is. Um, interesting. It's just completely interesting. So I'll be back when I get ready to start styling under this brand. I do have a leave-in spray conditioner from them and a butter called Hydrate Me Whipped Hair Butter. It is huge, 12 ounces. Oh my gosh. Okay, I will see you guys back in the next video. I just had to come and tell you about that. Just interesting. If you've got this and you've used it, I'd love to know your thoughts. Please, Comment down below and let me know what you think. I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I am done rinsing out my deep conditioner and I am about to apply my leave-in and I am going to use this whipped hair butter to uh, twist my hair. So this is the leave-in conditioner that I got back when. This one is, it's called a Unknot Me Milky Detangling Mist. So just from that alone, I am going to assume that it is mostly for detangling and kind of mildly conditioning the hair and assume that it's not going to be enough for mine. That's me saying it right off the bat. Um, and that is a guess. I'm going to test it and see. The ingredients are aloe juice, vegetable glycerin, rice bran oil, vitamin E, behindramonium methyl sulfate, satiro alcohol, dipanthenol, polyquark 10, polysorbate 20, ethyl hexoglycerin, uh, eco-friendly phenoxyl ethanol natural fragrance oil blend. So I'm going to give this a, um, a little test, but I am going to twist with the, oh my gosh, be sure you see the, um, uh, the, uh, deep conditioner for this wash day. I use the Honey's Handmade Cocoa Butter one. It smells so, so good. My hair feels absolutely wonderful. And I'll talk to you a little bit more detailed about that one in that video. But here is the whipped of hair butter. And I'm going to tell you what is all in it. It is really, really got a lot of organic items in it. But it starts with aloe vera, aloe juice. There's shea butter, soybean oil, coconut oil, glycerin, argan oil, stearic acid, phenoxyl ethanol and ethyl hexoglycerin, rice bran oil and vitamin E oil. So shea butter is the only oil in here. 
nice selection of very lightweight uh, moisturizing oils that seal and help to push some of that moisture down. I'm gonna try this leave-in, see what, see if it's gonna be enough. Like that. Not watery, because it's not running, but yeah, I would say a, it's a milk consistency, but it's kind of clingy, you know, it's thick enough that it will stay on the hair. I don't feel like I need to spray it in my hands because it may run out. Oh, it feels good. Feels very, very good. I made the assumption based on just the last wash day I had, I think I used, well, not the last one, maybe a couple before then. I used a leave-in spray conditioner and it just was not enough moisture for my hair. And I could only tell that by when I took the hair down. I put a nice butter on top to seal it all in and it was only till then that I realized my hair was moisturized. The butter really did its job, but it was dehydrated. I could feel it under there, that it just didn't have enough hydration in it from the beginning. Um, this feels so good. I'm scared to risk it. I'm scared. I'm, so I'm gonna add <laughs> lightweight um, leave-in on top. I'm gonna use the Honey It's a One leave-in conditioner from Honey's Handmade. Honey's Handmade from Annabelle's Perfect Blend. I'm sorry if you have seen this before. It is one of my favorite leave-ins from her and I've had this one a minute. It is very, see that it is running. It's not heavy, uh, it's very lotion-y. It's got a lotion consistency, but it is very hydrating. The honey in it really, really helps get a good bit of hydration down into the hair. And so I have used it when I've been skeptical of leave-in conditioners. I don't wanna add another heavy, heavy leave-in and then it just is too weighed down. So um, this is usually my go-to when I'm using a spray leave-in that I think may not be heavy enough. I'll add just another lightweight hydrating leave-in conditioner and that one suits just fine. My hair loves honey. And it is a humectant and it does a really, really good job of helping to keep my hair hydrated. So I am gonna, this smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells wonderful. And you know what, for a lot of you, this leave-in, this detangling mist would definitely be enough. It feels really, really awesome. And honestly, I could probably get away with it, but because I haven't tried this butter before, and I don't know between the two if it's gonna be enough. Just, I'm just gonna err on the side of being overly cautious. And this is going to be this process. I didn't even bother to smell the um, shampoo and conditioner. Nothing stood out to me normally by the time I, because I don't think to check since, but if I open it, and it, I can smell it, then I'll remember it. So me not smelling anything said that it was probably just a neutral smell and nothing, definitely nothing out of the way, definitely nothing too fragrancy or I definitely would have noticed. Okay, so this is it. Um, we talked about the butter. I'm just gonna use it as a, a twisting cream on top of this after it sits for a little bit. And I am also gonna put a little bit of oil on top. And this time I'm gonna use the Unicurl Moisture Sealing Hair Oil. Uh, the avocado and almond in here plays so well together. They create so much shine and it's perfect for sealing in moisture and you don't want it to be heavy. I could probably use a thicker oil this time of the year, but I'm gonna use that, I really like it. So I will see you guys back, probably not until I am all done. I am not gonna make any promises about coming back to show you my twisting. I've done that so many times before, but so many of you are new. If you'd like for me to come on and 
show you kind of my twisting process to show you how big or small the twists are to show you what the twist looks like when I first twist them up I will be more than happy to do that for you then let me know I can do it in you know maybe at least one other video um, coming up so I will see you guys back in a few seconds so all of the leave-in is in and I am about to put on my plastic cap and I'm gonna let it sit for about a half an hour. Yo, my hair feels so good. It feels just happy, happy, happy hair. And honestly, I really think what set it off was that clay mask. You will never know how dehydrated your hair is until you really do a good cleansing clarifier. Sometimes we don't realize how badly our hair needs a good cleansing. I just feel like that clay mask set my hair up to really strip off all the gunk. Like I use shampoo every week. I use, of course, non-sulfate ones, and then I do a clay wash every blue moon. But my hair loved this stuff. When it talks about removing all the product and taking off all of the toxins and drawing out impurities, I really feel like it did. It stripped it down, but it was moisturized. And so um, immediately from that, it just felt clean. Then I did the deep conditioner and the moment I put it in, like my curls were just so curly and happy and I saw so much definition in my hair and just this little bit of leave-in conditioner just from the spray alone I think it was moisturized but adding this extra uh, honey leave-in to it my hair just feels so so soft and as I was you know twisting it up to put these clips in it again just I can see so much of the definition and I can see that it is really really absorbed a lot of that product and so it is happy, happy hair. And so now I'm at the point where I'm like, have I been getting my hair clean? <laughs> like clean, like it needs to be clean. Cause I, you know, style it twice a week. And of course product does build up. And even though you do a clay wash and you do shampoos, just because this really got off so much of the gunk, I'm just wondering why it affected my hair so much why does it feel now cleaner than normal why is the deep conditioner and the leave-in all seeming to just absorb it all in and it just feels so soft and amazing i gotta think about that i gotta think about that and so that is also a um something for you to just think about if you're not getting definition like you think you should or if your hair is feeling stiff after you style it or even after you rinse out the conditioner sometimes it can feel soft and it can feel conditioned and we just go on because we're happy with that like it served its purpose it's soft and it's conditioned i can detangle but sometimes i think we need to just strip it every now and then just to see what it feels like to really have all of the impurities move from your hair and to start from scratch. And I feel like I am doing that today. Um, I have products where I have used clay masks before where you, you know, just kind of mix in a liquid and it could very well be just the charcoal and the bentonite clay. The other ingredients obviously help a lot. The wheat germ oil I know is very, very good. The aloe vera juice, just, this is just, I probably need to get this again. I'm going to watch and see how my hair does maybe over the next few shampoos and styling and see if it goes back to that way of just feeling eh, dull, you know, at the time that I thought was so great. Today, it truly feels great. And there's something different about the way that it feels after stripping it. So anyway, I'm going to go think about it. I'm getting ready to go watch my alumni team, Alabama, win this football championship. And so I will check you guys later in a few days. And I hope you are staying tuned. So I am back. It is two days later and I feel really good about my hair. It kept a lot of shine. And as you can see, it kept tons of definition. And I, for one... I am anxious to see how this is going to turn out. Um, that butter is awesome. It is a lot of product too, like 12 ounces. I barely used any. I remember thinking, oh my gosh, I'm never going to use all of this. 
like I barely scratched the surface. So I'm going to take this down and I'm going to show you what it looks like. I have bought the rest of the products down so that I can talk about each one. And I'll see you back here in a second. All done. I just had a picking party. I just went to town picking out my hair. I love this volume, but my hair is heavy, so I know it's not going to stay up. Not heavy because of the product, just heavy in general. So you can kind of see what's happening here. My hair feels amazing. This definition, I, it's been a long time, you guys. Look at this. It's crazy. It feels incredible. Not soft, soft, mushy soft, but moisturized and gonna give me some hold. How about that? Like it is soft. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's not soft. I'm just saying sometimes your hair can be so soft that within an hour it is all just kind of fallen and this is soft and moisturized but tons of definition so I've got all the products here and I'm going to tell you what I think about everything the shampoo is the hydrating moisture shampoo it's a shampoo it is when I first saw this I thought the product was white like it's sitting in here in my hand and I still um I don't know why I was expecting it to come out white but it is of a you know transparent thick shampoo consistency nothing um nothing really stands out about it um you know it's a great shampoo it does not have water it has aloe vera juice it has several organic ingredients in it and it is nice and healthy i don't see anything in here that is a turn off it does have a uh, black castor seed oil in it it got my hair clean clean like not stripping clean but it's not the most hydrating shampoo I've ever used. Um, you know, I wash my hair in sections and I actually washed my hair in one section and because my hair texture is so different, I did it on one section that is one texture and another section that is another section and the parts of my hair that is more for a 4B-ish liked it better than my little type 3 um, nape area here in the back. So nothing amazing stands out about it it was it was a good shampoo um and then i used their conditioner you guys this is why you see so many conditioners in my empties look at the conditioner bottle now it is clear i have probably used what maybe half of the conditioner so about four ounces of product i used in one uh, conditioning session which is okay i'm not complaining i'm just showing you what I mean when I say condition your hair, like I cover every single solitary strand of my hair and conditioner is so absolutely vital. Now this is amazing. This is absolutely terrific. It did hydrate. I did feel the hydration. I did feel a lot of moisture and it has a ton of slip, which is exactly what I was looking for. It went on very, very smooth. I usually put it in and let it sit for a few minutes. Just give it time to really sit on my hair so that when I rinse it out, I can have detangled hair that is then soft and detangling enough that I can proceed with comfortability and this gave me that. This was really, really good. Um, of the two, I think I like this one better and I would actually repurchase this. I like this tons, lots, lots, lots. Um, I did not have a deep conditioner from this line, so I used another deep conditioner and I'm going to tell you about that in a separate video, but I do have their Unknot Me Milky Detangling Mist that you saw me use as a spray leave-in that made my hair feel amazing, but because I was just nervous to use it by itself, I did add Annabelle's um, Honey It's a 3-in-1 Leave-In Conditioner, which is excellent. Um, but this is really good too. If you are a leave-in spray conditioning person, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. This is wonderful. Um, because it's milky, it's a little bit heavy. So I don't know if I would use it as a refresher. Because I think it may give out more than I want for just a refresher. Unless I hold it like way out here. But it's milky and it's a little bit thicker than milk. And so it might be a little bit much if you are trying to just barely mist your hair. It has a lot of moisture. So I will use it again 
as far as like I did before as a leave-in and then maybe putting another light leave-in on top perfect for that if you have a um, leave-in that you have you don't want to get rid of you don't think it's quite enough combining the two wonderful and then of course if you want to use this as a refresher of course you can do that that's that's just me and my preference but the one product that stood out to me more than any other mm, is this butter this is called hydrate me whipped hair butter uh did i show it to you guys before you know how i am i don't know but i'm gonna show you again it is very very whipped and snow white I love the way it feels very very soft look at that it's kind of a lotiony um, product but this product like you don't necessarily want to go away because it has that butter in it and you want that butter to really uh, coat your strands enough that it, some of the hydrating properties will continue to uh, penetrate into your hair but then this nice moisturizing layer stays on top to give it this moisture level and this definition and the hold. I did end up, as I said, putting the, before I forget, the aloe and almond oil from Unicurl on top, which I was surprised by this. This is not like lightweight. This must has castor oil in it. I remember thinking that when I was using it, but I didn't verify that because it feels kind of not heavy, but it just doesn't feel very, very lightweight like I thought. No, there's no castor oil. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of feels like when castor oil is mixed with other oils, where it's not super duper light, but certainly not thick heavy. I really like that. I'll use that. I'll continue to use that as a sealer. But back to this. I just don't want to forget this. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It gave my hair everything that it loves. It is not heavy. It is not weighed down. It has so much shine. And the definition is gonna be there for some time. Like I used to say, you know, I used the product not long ago. I thought I need to put some um, rollers on the ends because my ends were sticking out. For some reason, the product just didn't curl the ends of my hair and it just kind of hung straggly. This didn't do that. The ends are curled in very, very nice. And I keep this little definition here in the front as much as I can. And my hair is naturally frizzy on the side. If you are new and saying, well, the sides are frizzy, every product is makes my hair frizzy on the side. So it's, well, no. My hair is frizzy on the side regardless of the product. So it's not the product. My hair is just a total different section going on here. And it just frizzes. I don't care how careful I am. And then the back, Look at that, I barely even separated that one. This hair here, like it's more 3C hair and it curls so easily and it loves everything. Never ever do I get any frizz back here. It's so funny. But, so I have to take my losses with my wins. I know that I don't, I have many textures going on here and I'm not gonna get my hair to look uniform. So if you are following somebody who has all their hair that is just about the same texture and when they take it out, it looks the same all over. It's curly and it's nice and spirally all over. And and um, you're looking at yours and you've got two or three different things going on. It's a different texture of hair. It is just the way it is. You didn't do anything wrong. It is just the way it comes out of our head sometimes and you just got to embrace it and go along with it. Um, my hair, despite what you see here on camera, does not hold like perfect definition very easily. And so I can tell once I fluff out my hair if a product is going to last me through today or tomorrow or for a few days. And I know I'm not going to have to do anything with this. Nothing zilch. Put it in a pineapple at night and um, move on from for the next day. It has moisture it has shine it has enough definition the moisture is incredible i can feel how moist and lightweight it feels and it has everything you will love 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 this one i want to see if this says anything that i didn't say before thick and rich protein free butter made with natural nutrients and oils it helps increase hair elasticity softens hair and delivers pure hydration nutrients like moroccan 
Argan oil provides a weightless emollients to create shine to your once lifeless tresses. Filled with essential fatty acids and vitamin E, our hair butter will leave your hair beautifully nourished and curls popping. Yes, yes, yes. Um, sometimes I catch a word and two in there and I'm like, mm, not that, but no, every word of that is true. And I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you see how shiny it is? That's crazy. Craze, craze. But I love it. And I definitely will be using these again. Love them. Great experience. From the rooter to the tutor, everything about it was fantastic. If you have any other questions for me, something I did not mention, then drop those below for those of you who, oh, this is nice and fresh. Oh, it smells really clean. I like that very much. So that is my review. If you have something else you'd like to talk about, any questions, any feedback, any comments, any questions, put those in the comment box. Be sure that you like this video. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you've never been here before, make sure that you are subscribed so that you can see the next hair brand that pops up here. You never know when you're going to find something new or something that catches your eye that you just have to have in your life. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.